So that's good. I'm just going to, you know, at this point, I'm just going to leave that chalk line up there. If I didn't have a chalk line, would I had to have done that? No, I could, I could put pencil marks up there and transfer them and all that. That, that middle one would have been slightly tricky, right? I'm going to leave that chalk line hanging. That's my little helper today. So my next hole I'm going to cut is this one because I know it's really super close to the layout they had on the floor. And that layout was on the premises that we were, we knew exactly where the existing uh, ceiling joists were. You've got to find that out because that will throw off your layout every single time. And we, we looked at that. And last thing you want is for someone to tell you exactly what they want and then they leave and you start marking them out. You cut two or three and they're all perfect and then the next one is right in the middle of a ceiling joist. You're like, uh-oh, what do I do now? Which side of the ceiling joist do I put it on? And how is that going to affect it? And are they going to get mad? And should I have told them before? Should I have checked that out? Why didn't I go the extra mile like Joe tells me to do all the time so I could have pointed that out? We could have relocated all of them in an approved area to where I could have cut them out nice and easy. This one should be pretty easy to cut. I still, I still want to be careful. I've already kind of pushed the insulation away. And because the sheetrock is old, I want to be special careful with it so that I don't break it off anymore and I have to, you know? Move this string, move it back. I'm going to hold this because I don't want this little edge to snap off on me. Man, the sheet rock doesn't seem very tight. It's pretty old and brittly. My word, this sheet rock's like. Oh, over 50 years old. So, know when to be a bull in a china shop and know when not to. If I have to, once I get it up in here, if I have to uh, um, patch around here, I will because I've got other holes from where the existing light fixtures were and that sort of thing. So, it's all good. Now when we laid these out, we made them every other stud bay, so we've got we've got a stud here, or a joist, ceiling joist. A stud is vertical in a wall. A ceiling joist holds up a ceiling, okay, or a floor. Floor joist, ceiling joist. That's right there. So then we got another one 16 inches away from there, right here. We got another one on the far side of that over here. So I know every 32 inches, I'm going to have another joist, okay? Because I don't know exactly where that ex another joist is. I know it's, they're on 16 inch layout up in the ceiling because I already checked that out. But we're going we're gonna to do a little probe, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up here and first off I know that the joist is right there, about a half inch away from that. Okay, so I can I can hold my my tape measure this way a little bit. And it's 32 inches. I'm gonna go over here, and I know the joist is gonna be in there somewhere. So I'm gonna cut just a little probe hole up above. Okay up above, meaning this side of that line a little bit. Before I do that, I'm going to double check, okay? Here I've got 16 inches and then the joist. 32, 32, and then the joist, okay? I'm going to cut a probe hole back this way a little bit, back up in here. And I can do that with my saw. I don't have to make it very big. Okay. Now I can 
take my wire and I'm just going to bend it. And I'm going to shove it in there. And we'll see what happens here. Wow. Okay. So I make, make my hole a little bit bigger so I can get my finger up in there. Now I can take my probe wire, push it in there. I've got my light here. When I hold that up. And I've got my thumb on there, and I'm about an inch and an eighth away from that edge. Okay. So I can take a measure here, an inch and an eighth. And that's where the edge is. Now, before I cut that, I'm going to probe on the far one, and I'm going to get a measurement. And you see, I don't necessarily have to get on the edge exactly at each one. I can center each light with the same measurement. If this is 32 inches from center to center, the next one can be 32. The next one can be 32. As long as I'm away from the ceiling joist. I can lay it out that way and know that if I got an inch and an eighth here and if that is center to center then I'm fine. Okay? But I, I don't want to check that until I check all of them and see where the ceiling joists are. And I'm going to be within a little bit of each one. If I were to just go uh, three quarters of an inch, let's say, away from the ceiling joist and cut my hole in the next one three quarters of the way. In this case it was about five eighths away. The one over here was seven eighths away. That one can be three quarters away. You know, it's going to be so close to the naked eye that nobody's ever going to get up there with a the tape measure and see if you're within a sixteenth either way. Okay? But there's another way you can do it.